It's fantasy football news time. Austin Eckler, Melvin Gordon, Tom Brady. Oh my. Top five running back. You're watching the fantasy football show. Take a lap. Austin Eckler. Where do you value Eckler now that he is by himself? Honestly, I, I think everybody should have already had Eckler in the 12 to 14 overall range. You could call him 11 to 14, but I like to have him in the second round as my second drafted player. Try your best to not reach on this because you want to maximize value at every turn. But Austin Eckler is a fine second drafted player. You can win a league with Austin Eckler as your second drafted player. He already broke out last year. You can't really call him this year's version of Dalvin Cook, but you can compare the fact that you're drafting Eckler in second round value, but he's got top five running back upside. Very similar to Dalvin Cook last year. Very similar to Dalvin Cook last year. Give me Austin Eckler all day long in round two, and I will give you championships, baby. Melvin. Melvin Gordon. People are undervaluing Melvin Gordon. I'll be honest, I did not love the landing spot at a glance. When I first heard about it, I thought, why is Melvin not in Atlanta and why is Gurley not in Denver? But I firmly believe that Denver will lean on one running back. Historically, this is how it goes with his coaching staff. They're paying him to be a starting running back. Given that they sought out Melvin Gordon, what makes people hang on to the idea that they think Lindsey's going to be even a, a running back by committee guy? in this offense. I get it. People don't like that there's a decent name threat to any one running back's value, but I'm telling you right now, Melvin Gordon's going to walk into 2020 extremely undervalued. The risk is baked into third round value, which is where his ADP lies, and he can hang with the running backs in round two, even the high round two range, but don't take him there. You don't have to. Tom Brady. I said it for months. Tom Brady will not return to New England, and everybody said, Oh, Tom Brady's gonna wanna play it safe and stay. No, he's a competitor. He's the GOAT. He doesn't have a noodle arm, but even if you assume he's lost a little bit, he's being handed Godwin, Evans, OJ Howard, and maybe a rookie running back, whoever they bring in. Tom Brady's gonna be fine in 2020. He will rival top five to six top five to seven fantasy QB numbers in 2020. Think differently? You're just a Tom Brady hater. Noodle arms have feelings too. More fantasy football news to come all week long on the Fantasy Football Show. Subscribe, follow, get some. Top five running back. You're watching the Fantasy Football Show.